This video will show you how to complete page 34 out of your math book. It says Jenna's husband, Rick, is concerned about his diet. On any given day, he eats zero, one, two, three, or four servings of fruits and vegetables. The probabilities are given in the table below. So in examining this table, this, um, this right here, this X, um, number of servings of fruits and vegetables, when he has zero servings, that chance of happening is um, eight hundredths. When he has one serving, that chance of happening is thirteen hundredths. When he has two servings, that chance of happening is twenty-eight hundredths, or you could say twenty-eight percent. Um, three servings, thirty-nine percent. Four servings, twelve percent, also known as twelve hundredths. Okay. On a given day, find the probability that Rick eats two servings of fruits and vegetables. So we literally just look, okay, well there's the servings department right there too, 28 hundredths, which is 28%. More than two servings of fruit and vegetables. So you look, are you more than two servings? Nope. Are you more than two? Nope. Are you more than two? Nope. I'm exactly two. Are you more than two servings? Yes. So 39 hundredths. And then are you more than two? Yeah. So plus 12 hundredths, that will give me 51 hundredths, which is 51%. Or, you know, if you want to write a fraction, you can also write 51 hundredths. Same thing. Letter C, at least two servings of fruits and vegetables. So keyword, at least two. Okay, talk to your paper again. Are you at least two servings? Nope. Are you at least two? Nope. Are you at least two? Yeah, I am. Hey, are you at least two? Yeah. Are you at least two? Yeah. So add those together. 28 hundredths plus 39 hundredths plus 12 hundredths. When you add those together, you should get, um, I think, 79 hundredths, which is 79%. Or if you want to write it as a fraction, go ahead, 79 hundredths. And then simplify it if you can. I don't think, yeah, you can't simplify that. All right, letter or number two. Find the probability that Rick does not eat exactly two servings of fruits and vegetables. So does not eat exactly two. Okay, and there's two ways to do this one. I'll show you both ways. So the probability of not exactly two servings. You, the first way is to talk to your paper. Hey, are you not exactly two servings? Nope, I'm not. Okay, so we can include you. And then talk to this one. Hey, are you not exactly two? Nope, I'm not exactly two. You're 13 hundredths. Are you not exactly two? Yep, I'm exactly two. Sorry, we don't, we're not interested. Are you not exactly two? Nope. So we'll add you, and you're not exactly two, so we'll add you, we'll add you and you, okay? With all these. So 39 hundredths is next, and then 12 hundredths, okay? That says 39 hundredths. When I add all these together, I get 72 hundredths, which is 72%. Okay, the second way to do this is remember when you add all these guys right here, what should it equal? Go ahead and add those together. 8 hundredths, 13 hundredths, 28 hundredths, 39 hundredths, and 12 hundredths. You get 1. Okay? So these all add up to 1. You can take, and this is going to be the same thing, 1, and you're going to subtract the one you don't want. We don't want the exactly two servings, sorry. We don't want you, so subtract 28 hundredths. Okay? And when you go 1, subtract 28 hundredths, you should get 79, or 72 hundredths, sorry. Oops, why I turned off? 1 minus 28 hundredths, ta-da, 72 hundredths right there. Which is, you know, 72%, or you can totally write that as a fraction if you're bored. All right, so see, there's two ways to do that problem. But you pick which way you like better. If you know how to do both ways, that's fantastic. Okay, example two. Luis works in an office and the phone rings occasionally. The possible number of phone calls he receives in an afternoon and their probabilities are given in the table below. Ooh, this one's written as fractions. So the chance of him having no phone calls is a one-sixth chance. Uh, one phone call is one-sixth chance. Two phone calls, two-ninths. Three phone calls, a third. Um, four phone calls is a ninth. What do you think all those add up to? 
Well, I'm just going to go ahead and type this in my calculator because I don't really want to um, spend time finding a common denominator. Because you know when you add fractions, you got to have to get a common denominator down here. And we don't have a common denominator, and I don't really want to spend time with all that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that these all should e that these all equal one, um, one whole. So 1 fraction bar 6 plus 1 fraction bar 6 plus 2 ninths plus 1 third plus 1 ninth equals 1 whole. Ta-da! All right, find the probability that Luis receives three or four phone calls. Okay, so, well, there's three or four. So I have to add one third plus one ninth. So probability of getting a th three phone calls is one third. Probability of getting four phone calls is one ninth. Or only in probability means add, or add, or add, or add. And darn, look, we have fractions. They don't have the same denominator. This one's not so bad. I can find a common denominator pretty quickly. Um, they both go into nine. So three times three equals nine. So I gotta do that to numerator. One times three is three. Hey, this one's already at a nine, so I just keep it there. Three ninths plus one ninth is four ninths, okay? Four divided by nine is approximately 0.44, which would give you like 44%. When you have like um, a repeating decimal or something like that, I think it's always a good idea to keep it just as a fraction, okay? So that's probably the, it's the most precise, especially when you have to round. So yeah, four ninths is the probability that Luis receives three or four phone calls.